Hello everyone and welcome to our latest edition of Create a Fighter, the show where we put a prominent Mortal Kombat character under the competitive microscope for new players looking to sink their teeth into their latest character choice. This time it's going to be the one and only Foxy Grandpa taking us through the wonders of the Queen Shiva. We're going to list off some moves that Foxy has said are moves to take notice of and let's find out what they do. So to start off Foxy, Queen's Punishment was the number one. What's up with that? All right, this move here is your low. She hasn't got any lows naturally, so you have to equip one. But this one's really strong because it's got a million overheads in her string. Pretty much anywhere there's an overhead, except for a few places, you can change that move for the low. So now you've got yourself a guess, and if they take the low, you can apply bleed, which does damage if they move. Gives you a 50-50 in a lot of situations. Next on the docket, the Enhanced Dragon Drop. My philosophy with the Enhanced Dragon Drop isn't so that you gain the Dragon Drop, it's because you're using it in a variation where you won't use the Dragon Stance. So it's not really adding one move, it's adding two moves because you get straight fireball and therefore you have to take the Stomp because that's her next most applicable move. So the Stomp is just like a cherry on top. So what does the Stomp itself do? Stomp puts the opponent in a Three-way guess, essentially. You can stomp in place, in front, or behind. You have to guess. She gets 10%. If she's right, 15%. If she spends the bar, and if she guesses three times in a row, you've basically lost 50%. The trade-off is she also gets punished three times as hard as the reward you get. So it depends on what sort of player you are. If you're all about the risk-reward, go nuts. If you're not, you can still use it with intelligence as a counter-zoning tool. And combined with her other fireball games, there's some nuance to it and it depends what you want to do. So on the subject of fireballs, I would say this is definitely the most common move that we see yourself play when it comes to Shiva, the Dragon Stance. It's a move that you can do off of a couple of moves where you can go into the stance and start shooting off fireballs on block. So it's good to give her space back and give her a chip at the same time. Say like Sub-Zero, for example, you block an Ice Ball from a certain range, you get the stance. Therefore, you block his Ice Ball for like, what, 1%, maybe even less, and you give him 4% back. As long as you're smart about your spacing and your timing, you'll be winning these uh, chip wars in neutral. You just have to be a bit more patient with it. And there's also some like unavoidable situations you can set up, depending on how the opponent deals with the stance. Like, big EX fireball stomp full screen. Most characters are just getting stomped on. You have to pick your poison, you can get fireball or stomp. She's also a character that has a couple of launching options when it comes to customs. And even though we do see a few players opt for the dragon charge, which is a bit more of like a bog standard, just you know, use it, launch the opponent, decent speed, whatever. You tend to go for the death march. So let's talk about the process and what leads you to go for death march. The reason for taking the death march over the shield charge is with the shield charge, you're far more likely to drop any attempt to armor break using her back forward four. But with the death march, you have a mind game on every hit of her combo of going into armor break without ever having to worry about what height you've launched your opponent. So essentially you can do death march, launch her, armor break. You can do death march, launch her, first hit your combo, armor break. There's like, I don't know, like there's like eight, nine hits in a combo. Every point of that, you could do armor break safely. And if they break it, and you catch it, they've lost 40, 45%. So it's mostly just for um, setting up armor breaks. And once they respect the fact that you can do that, you then just get free damage because they're never going to break. Let's talk about a couple of variations together. So you got three moves to pick, which ones and why together specifically? Ah, uh, yeah, three moves to pick. I'm taking Dragon Stance, Death March, and um, Queen's Punishment. Always taking the low because got a million overheads you need to have something to complement that and it also means you don't have to throw as much because you have a 50 50. Um, death march like i said it will convert your 50 50s into damage and give you the easy armor break attempts and you've got two bleeds with that you have a uh, back forward four which is your armor break which can throw them away or you can do your low which is uh, another bleed to keep them close and then you've got the dragon stance which is going to add up all that chips. So let's say you do either of your bleeds and go into Dragon Stance. Now they have to hold the bleed. If they try and move, they're taking damage. 
And if they don't try and move, they're taking damage because you've got the stance and you get four fireballs to shoot at. And you can cancel out of it for no bar, so you might be able to throw eight fireballs. Who knows, like, you might be able to throw 20 fireballs, depending if they're catching onto your patterns or not. There's a lot of things that you can mess around with the opponents. Are there any situations that you might change this variation? And if so, what and why? Yeah, I feel like with Shiva, the matchup changes more depending on which fireball can she use. So let's say the stance is too slow to fight against this type of projectile. So let's say you get Shiva versus a Katana or a Sonya or someone that can throw out a lot faster. You take the straight fireball because now you keep up with them in that game and you do more damage on that projectile in that game because the fireball is 7%. And then in dropping the Dragon Stance, you've opened up one move slot which therefore is going to be filled by Stomp because that's just her next best option to take over the remaining moves. And it also triggers people, so you may as well take it. No one likes getting stomped on, so stomp on them. So that was Create a Fighter, our latest edition, where Shiva went under the microscope thanks to the one and only Foxy Grandpa. Now, before I wrap this up, Foxy, you think of Shiva, any closing comments? No comment for the Shogun. Excellent. If you want to get involved in competitive Mortal Kombat, it is as simple as compete.playstation.com. The one-stop shop competition center, which tells you how to compete in both the open series and the all-important, forever ongoing pro competition. My name has been Ketchup, joined by Foxy Grandpa and Mustard. This was Creative Fighter. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.